like 
Jesus this morning, no one like you, you are the deliverer of this nation, you are the healer of this nation, you are the one that has opened the hearts of people in this nation, you are the God that brings abundance peace in the nation of Kenya. Father, we thank you and I bless you in the name that is above every other name. Jesus, I want to thank you for the online service, Prayer for Kenya. And today I am asking you to feed the nation of Kenya with your things, with your food, with your word, with intercession, that we may gain strength and overcome every trial, every pandemic, and any plague in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you receive all the glory. May you receive all the honor. As I lead prayers in the nation of Kenya, Father, I am asking you that you are going to sit upon me in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you once again, good people and child of God, for tuning in in our prayer this morning for the nation of Kenya. I want to thank God because every prayer that we have been praying, our God has been faithful to answer. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. This week I've been praying and especially I've been praying for the nation of Kenya, for the peace and also for the church of Catholic. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord was speaking to me that he has given the church of, of, of Catholic. There will be great revival, but there will be also heavy shake up so that there can be revival in the church of Catholic in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now today I am going to pray for Catholics and I'm also going to pray for, for, for the nation of Kenya that God will swallow COVID-19 and there will be peace. In the spiritual realm, it's not like other days, but I've been feeling a lot of peace as I pray for COVID-19 and I am very sure that COVID-19 is just about to disappear by the grace of God. I don't know when, but in the spiritual realm, things are settled in Jesus' name. On my side, what God has allowed me to pray. Now, today I want us to go to the book of Mika. Some will call it Michael, others Mika, others Micah, you know. But I'm going to call it Mika in chapter 2. And... We are going to ask the Lord, this scripture, I used it many times and I used it many years back when I was pleading for mercy in the ministry of chariots of fire and I was telling God, let the breaker come and break the gates of brass for me, brass for me. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when you look in verses 11, uh, 12 and 13, the Bible says, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of you. I will gather, I will surely gather the remnants of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Bozra, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. In other words, God will gather and God will gather the flock. God will gather the righteous in the nation of Kenya. On Thursday, we were praying for, as I was doing school of mentorship, the Holy Spirit just took over. I was just leading prayers for 30 minutes, but we went up to one hour. The Lord was just moving in the spiritual realm in the nation of Kenya. We are going to produce the tube to the, this week in the YouTube. And the nation of Kenya, I could see intercessors scattered. So I knew intercessors are being lifted from everywhere so that they can stand in this nation. Now, the Lord is talking to us that he's going to gather. He is going to gather the righteous. He is going to gather the intercessors as a flock in the fold. That God is going to gather the righteous. They will be one, one voice in prayer, one voice in agreement. In other words, you may be scattered, but in the spiritual realm, you are one. 
what Apostle Damaris is seeing, another one is seeing. What Apostle Damaris is praying about, another somebody intercessor somewhere, even in Trukana, even in Mayale, even in Marsabe, they are praying because the Spirit of God has gathered us together in the spiritual realm. And the Bible says, and they shall make great noise by reason of multitude of men. Number one, there will be many intercessors. It can stand for that. For that, if you are a pastor, you are watching me, you can pray to bring people to your church. Number two, they will be made making multitude of men will make noises of, re of rejoicing. What? What kind of noises? Prayer noises. Thanksgiving noises. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to tell God this morning, oh God, gather the righteous, gather the intercessors, gather. The nation of Kenya will not be held by non-believers. It will be the righteous. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are going to tell God, gather intercessors in the name of Jesus. Let them cry in one voice. Let them be in a fold like one. They may be scattered, but in the spiritual realm, God to gather them together. That what I see, another one will see. What another pastor is seeing, I also see it so that we can be able to pray in Jesus' name. Shanda Rabo Sikadabea. Bandala Bes. Torobo Zagadi. Shanda Rabo Ziaga. Banderebo Zigidia. Shere Genderebos. Kandara Besi Kutaraga. Shegede bagade bandala bo zegedebe kali magade prosiaga I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of you. I will surely gather the remnants of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Bozra, as the flock in the midst of their flock. Banda bo zigiri, bande bo zeregede. They shall make great noise by reason of multitude of men. Bada bo zagada. Gather intercessor, gather the remnants in the body of Christ, gather the righteous in the name of Jesus, that they will stand with the word of God, that they will stand with your rema word, that will deliver the nation of Kenya, that will cause revival in the nation of Kenya. Bada bro zegede, banda bo zegedebe, bande de bo zigedebe, kandere gendere bo Banda la bezo goduba, kendere gendere bozi gidiba, shere gendere bozia, banda la bezia turu bozia, kende bozi gidibi, shere gende bozi gidibi, baragadia, bogodobua, zegedebia, toromozia, zegedebia, zogodobua, zegedebia, zogodobua, jagadara bagada, maragadere bozia gade, jagadara bazegede. Banda la bezia turubozia in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to do another prayer by the grace of God. We are going to go to uh, the same book, Mika chapter 4 and verses 14. Mika chapter 4, sorry, and verses 13. Arise, this, I love this. I love the book of Mika. I just love it. The Bible says, Arise. And thresh, O daughter of Zion, threshing, kusiaga, threshing, go there, arise. God is calling upon the nation of Kenya, the intercessors, to arise and thresh, thresh in prayer. I wish you can see me pray. This seat is not comfortable for me in prayer. Sometimes I feel like waking up, pray and come back. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion. For I will make you a horn, Kai. I will make you a horn. I will make you an authority. I will make you a dominion. I will make you a calling, your assignment. Myself as Apostle Damaris, Mobike Godo, Embu County, Chariots of Fire. I have been called in the area of apostolic, prophetic intercession. I cannot fight. I cannot struggle. Yes. This is my line. And when I take this scripture personally, it means that God will make my assignment a horn of iron that I will thresh into pieces. We are going to tell God, let the intercessors, intercessors have different calling. Others are called to go scatter. 
to scatter powers of darkness. Others are called for, for just telling God, show us masses. Others are called to birth revival. They have been given, and others in the apostolic, they have been given to tackle anything that God gives to them. The Bible says, arise, O and thresh, O daughter of Zion. Arise and thresh, O daughter, apostle Damaris. For I will make your horn iron, and I will make your hooves iron. I will make your hooves brass, brass, that when you are walking, the serpent will not bite you. Hi. When they try to put, uh, to put bombs, there are many things I can talk that God has opened my eyes. Sometimes even this week, I was praying. The Lord was making me to enter in different places in the nation of Kenya to make intercession. And I could find bombs that have been set, that when I step, they will blow me. They will finish me. Whatever happens in the physical happens also in the spiritual realm. The way they set bombs, the way they use machine guns, the way they, whatever they use happens in the spiritual realm. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you have the hooves, your feet is hooves, eye of brass. Let me tell you, even if they put it, it cannot hurt you. The Bible says, and you shall beat in pieces many people. You shall beat in pieces many people alone. Many people, evil people, we chase, praise the name of the Lord. Hindrance says, you shall bring down wars. And the Bible says, and I will consecrate their gain to the Lord and their substance to the Lord of the whole. And listen, even, even evil people, when you defeat them, they shall bow. Praise the name of the Lord. They shall minister. They sh I have seen people, when people are building churches, even Muslims, they buy. They say, Pastor, I will bring a, ro a lorry of, of stones. You cannot say no. Why? It is the church. It is the body of Christ. It is the house of God. And he brings whoever he wants. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the wealth of the wicked belongs to us. That even the wicked, you shall beat them. They shall support you in your assignment. They shall support you in your ways. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible has said it very well. You shall beat them into pieces and they shall consecrate their gain. Gain. They will consecrate their gain to the Lord. They will consecrate their gain to Adonai and their substance to Adonai. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to tell God in the nation of Kenya, Father, let the church of Christ, let the righteous, let the assigned set men in the nation of Kenya, let their homes be the homes of iron. Let their we feet be the feet or hooves of brass. Let them beat into pieces people, their ideas. They are plans against what God is doing in this nation. Whatever, if they want to give bad things to the patients, let it be beaten off. Praise the name of the Lord. And let the wealth of the wicked, that is the gain, the benefit of the people that have been put to surrender, let them, let it be consecrated and let them submit their substances to the body of Christ. Let them give substance. Why is Kenya not going back to church? We are being measured times. We have forgotten what God has promised us. It means that, that the church of Christ is lacking favor. Where there is favor, you cannot beat it. Praise the name of the Lord. Substances and gains will be surrendered at the feet of the church. We are going to pray, oh God, let the horn of the church, let the horn of intercessors, let the horn, I, let the horn of the righteous, be the horn of iron. Horn is power, is dominion, is a voice. And let their hooves, hooves is their foundation to be established. Praise the name of the Lord. Let it be the a brass, like brass. And let the gain of those people that have been subdued by the church of God come back to the righteous. In Jesus' name. Kanda labo sakade. Marebo sirima shandarabos. Rekete rekete rebo sharaba. Give the church of Kenya favor. Favor breaks protocol. Shendo bosuka tarabesi. Bande lebozi akulima ganda tarabesi. Let it go well with the church of God. Kele kere bosiada. Bende lebozi akulibaga. Shere gende rebozi aturumozi. Kendere bozi turumozi.
Shereke dere bo zigidi maraka dere bo zigidi sheke dere ke dere bo siaka bandala besi kutikidia arise daughter of Zion arise church of Christ in Kenya arise intercessors and the righteous arise apostle Demaris arise in the name of Jesus Lambro zenge debi and threshold daughter of Zion bande bo zigidia. For I have made your horn nile, I have made your hoofs broad. Kende Bosia, beat into pieces, beat into pieces, people, beat into pieces. The government of Kenya, let them submit to the Church of Christ. Let the power in the government of Kenya submit to the body of Christ. Let the power in the nation of Kenya submit to the body of Christ. Let the powers of the land of the nation of Kenya submit to the body of Christ. Kende brosaga de brosende bosa. Kende le kende le bosia. Kanda la mesia turumosia. Shekedere kedere bosa. Kedere bogoda robose kede. Banda la besia turumosia. Keleke malaga de zogodobo. Zekedeke banda la be zogodobo. Kendeleke bande debo. Zandabo zendebo 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 zendebo. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray. The theme of our prayer today is God or oh God feed the nation of Kenya. When a nation is fed by God, you become strong. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, uh, chapter 2 from verses, chapter 1 from verses 15. The Bible says that in verses 16, if I'm not wrong, that our inner man shall be strengthened so that we can be encouraged. When the inner person is encouraged, the nation will be able to stand. Now, when I talk about the nation, it is the people in the nation of Kenya. It is the people that make Kenya. It is not Kenya that makes people. It is people that make Kenya. So Kenya have got fame because of specific people that have gone abroad to run races and they have gotten the trophies. Kenya have become Kenya because of singers that have sung and they have brought the fame back home. Praise the name of, the, of Jesus. Kenya have become Kenya because of specific preachers that have spoken the word, that have sprayed, and things have happened, and people are running to Kenya. So Kenya is Kenya because of specific people that are prominent in the business, specific churches that are prominent, specific people that are prominent. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, in, in, in Micah or Micah or whatever you want to call it, chapter 5 and verse for the Bible says and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord this is Jerusalem this is Jacob praise the name of the Lord the Bible says after they have traveled when you look in verse 3 therefore will he give them up until the time that she shall travel as brought forth listen this time of COVID-19 this time of big epidemic is like God is not hearing us is like God is not together with us but he is together with us now, in this time where we feel like he is not together with us is when the labor pains are very heavy. There is a lot of contraction so that the baby can be delivered. Now, after revival is delivered in the nation of Kenya, and on Thursday, the Lord told me, and I saw a big banner saying alignment. So when there will be alignment in the nation of Kenya, then the Bible says, he and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord. Every mother that has given birth is weak. They need strength. You have carried this baby for nine months. This baby have eaten so much of you in you. In you, nutrients, this baby is feeding from you. Now that you have pushed, now that you have given birth, there is need for feeding. Every believer, every intercessor, I have seen it in my life. When I have labored in pain, when I have delivered in pain, when I have delivered and I have seen blessings flowing, when I have seen testimonies, when I have seen God has fought my battles, my body become weak. What do I do? I start feeding my spirit man. 
I feed because the spirit man have been neutralized. When I come out from this prayer platform, I always feed my spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray. Why? The Bible says I need strength. And he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord. In the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall abide. For now shall he be great to the ends of the earth. Glory be to God. We are going to tell God. For Kenya to be, to be great to the ends of the earth, feed us. Feed, there is something interesting about Christians in Kenya. Sometimes more small battles, you know. Sometimes small battles, people can go to the mountain to fast for 40 days because a woman is fighting them, because a man is fighting them. I, I have seen it in my location. People gather, they go to the mountain to pray. Against the church. The people are so petty. And I'm sorry to say that. Now, we need strength. When there is a problem in the nation of Kenya, we go hiding. We go just hiding. We go hiding. You, you, when you want to get a job and, and you have been told you have to pay a bribe, you see even Christian doing it. It means that you are still weak. We need to tell God, oh God, Feed the nation of Kenya. Feed the nation of Kenya. Let the nation of Kenya stand. Let them be fed. You cannot stand firm if you are not fed. The Bible has told us, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord, and they shall abide. For now shall he be great to the ends of the earth. Oh God, make Kenya great to the ends of the earth, or if to the ends of the earth. Feed us with your strength of your majesty, that Kenya will be strong. There are nations Christians don't joke about. But in Kenya, a Christian can lie at the same time stand at the pulpit. A Christian can terminate a baby from the womb. A Christian can sleep and the next day they are preaching. A Christian can bite and fight their wives and they stand and preach on Sunday. In other countries, People cannot. Why? Your sin will find you out. We are going to pray and tell God, let Kenya be fed by the power of the Spirit of God. Let Kenya start. When you are, we are, you are righteous, when you have what it takes to be, you will be firm. You will stand. Nothing will hinder you. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Father, feed the nation of Kenya. Zeke de Robasha. Kutarabe. Feed the nation of Kenya. Kendele kendele bosa, kambro sita rabes, kele bosi akuta rabesia. Kenya, we need to be fed. Kenya, we need to stand firm. Feed the intercessors with your word. Feed the intercessors with the strength that their spiritual muscles will be strong. That we shall stand, O oh God. That we shall be great to the end of the earth. Kele ba zagada. Bandebo Zagadabe, Shelebo Ziakulimaga, Shokoto Brozika Dabe, Zandala Bezi Kulimaga, Bandabo Ziakuta Raga, Shele Gendele Bozi, Bandele Bozia Kuta Rabes, Karaganda Rabesia, Bandala Bezia Kulimaganda, Bendele Bozia Kuta Rabesi, Kolo Koria Mandele Mozia, Feed me as your servant Oga. That I may stand, O oh Father, that I may be great to the ends of the earth. Shada Brosika, my potential will be heard. My potential will be felt. My potential shall be manifested to the ends of the earth. In our businesses, wonderful Siginiba, in Jesus' name. We are going to do final prayer. We are going to tell God, O oh God. According to your word in Joel 2.25, I pray, let coronavirus, let it be swallowed. Coronavirus is a virus, just like HIV is a virus. Whatever is in your body that is a virus is a worm. Joel 2.25, the Bible says, I will restore to you the ears, the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, caterpillar is a worm, canker worm, and palmer worm. These are worms, any worms, any virus that is eating our bodies in the nation of Kenya. Let God 
destroy that virus and swallow it by his power in the name of Jesus. Dendebo Sagada, Bandebo Zeregede, Balagade Prozigede, Bandabo Siaturubosi. Corona is a virus. HIV is a virus. We have worms in the bodies that are producing sicknesses, that are producing sicknesses, that are eating our flesh. Bandebo Zakutarabes, Bendelebo Siakuri Maganda, Sheregenderebo Siakuri Magia. Zogo do prozi katarabazia. Shendele mozi akuri maganda. Just like your word they say in Mika chapter 3 and verse 3. Kalabozia, who also eat the flesh of my people and thread their skin from off them and they break their bones and chop off in pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the control. Father, I pray, let coronavirus, let any virus and worms in our body eat us of flesh. Let the word of God eat you. Let the word of God eat you. Let the word of God eat you. In Joel chapter 2 and verses 25. Let the word of God eat you. Let the word of God eat you. You will not consume our bodies. You will not consume our bones. You will not consume our flesh. You will not consume us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Tune in every time in our YouTube chat from Tuesday, YouTube, Apostle Damaris. There is also the School of Mentorship. Many have joined. Many have told me how they have had challenges to join, but God has helped them to join. Also, you can join me on Facebook, Chariots of Fire Ministries, or even Damaris Mumbi uh, on Facebook, and let us learn together. Pray for me. And pray for every set man in the nation of Kenya that have been set to pray and stand in the nation of Kenya. In Jesus' name. God bless you. In Jesus' name.